and they begged him to touch. Hold on, hold on. I rebuke any demonic spirit. Did y'all see Jesus's new post? He just posted a picture of him eating dinner with all the disciples. Isn't that so sweet? The caption says the last supper. What do you think that means? Like what? That's kind of weird. It looks like all the disciples reposted the post except for Judas. Why didn't Judas repost it? That's kind of weird. Let me look at the picture again. Oh shoot. Judas isn't in the picture guys. Judas is in the picture. What do you think happened? That's weird. Let me go to his account. Um, okay, Judas Iscariot. Uh, okay, oh, he has a new post. Uh, it's a picture of him holding a bag of silver coins. What? And the caption says, just got that bag, 30 pieces of silver richer. That's weird. How do you get that many pieces of silver? Let me DM him. Hey, how did you get that many pieces of silver? Just wondering. Okay, I just sent it to him. Hopefully he answers. But, um, oh. This is a new notification from Peter. Peter just tweeted, you can call us 11 disciples now. <gasps> Judas. But God is not like man. God's love does not disappoint. It does not wound. If he brings correction, he also brings healing. He doesn't leave you broken and wounded forever. He knows how to pour oil in the places where you're wounded. And do not give up on the Lord of love. Do you have time for God? If you do, I want you to send this video to somebody before you even know what I'm going to say. Okay, now that you've done that. The time is now to stop blaming God for world's problems. Stop blaming God for the struggles that you go through. At the end of the day, it's up to you to choose Jesus so he can come into your life and help your life be better. Just think about it like this. Jesus stands at the door and knocks. But if you never open the door for him, how do you expect him to come into your life and help you through the struggles that you're going through? Help you through the times where you feel as if you can't keep going. Jesus is out there waiting for you to accept him. He just wants to be accepted by you so he can help you through those tough times, so he can help you get through what you're going through. But if you never let him in the door, he's never going to come in because he does not feel welcomed. Accept Jesus 100% because he's always loved you. That's why he died for you. That's why he loves you. And that's why he did everything that he did so that you could be free. But if you never let him in, he will never be there for you because you never accepted him to begin with. Jesus is not the reason for our problems. We have to make the choice to choose him. What? <gasps> so who does she think she is? Be when they discover you've died. <laughs> Ooh, it's October 3rd. Okay, and you want to watch Mean Girls? My mama said we can only watch Christian Mean Girls, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, Meek Girls. Mm -hmm. Because being with Jesus was like being famous. Everybody knew who he was and people came from everywhere just to see him. That new guy came here from Bethlehem. What good can come out of Bethlehem? I saw Jesus wearing Crocs and healing blind people. So I started wearing Crocs. And healing blind people. Can you watch where you're going? Well, I tried to. That Jesus guy is baptizing people now. He might be better than John the Baptist. I saw him and his disciples pick wheat on the Sabbath, but you ain't hear that from me. One time, I saw him flip a table. It was awesome. Look at me. What about me would make you think that I care about your opinion of me? Your opinion of me is not the opinion that I have of myself. You ain't make me, so you can't break me. You didn't build me, so you can't kill me. I, I, you know what? God, God established me, so you ain't nothing you could do to me. I've been him. I've been a difference maker, a game changer. I've been that guy. Guys, Jesus is alive. The victory is won. Woo! Jesus is king! In my last
Listening clicks, so I'm picking the tool up. My step up gon' brush him if I press the button. Too drippy to scuff. The blick in the duffel, it came with a muzzle, so why would I touch You know, you might not believe in God, but God believes in you. Jesus is my love. An atheist will come and attack a Christian with this common question. You Christian believe that your God is all love and all powerful. Our reply will be yes, because that's the truth. Our God is all love and all powerful. Okay, then how come this God of yours, who is all love and all powerful, allowing for evil to infiltrate and expand so rapidly on a global level? Now this question that is asked by an atheist attacking a Christian. So I'll ask you, my dear friend, when you assume there is evil, aren't you also assuming there is good? Because if they say there is no good, then I'll ask them, how did you know this is evil if you hadn't seen good? How do you know it is dark if you hadn't seen the light? How do you know it's night if you've never seen the day? So when you assume there is evil, aren't you also assuming there is good? They will say yes. Well, when you are assuming there is also good, aren't you also assuming there is a moral law? Because if there is no moral law, how did you know this was good and this was evil? They will say yes. So since you're assuming there is a moral law, aren't you also assuming there is a moral law giver, which is God whom you are denying? Since you're denying the existence of God, since there is no moral law giver, there is no moral law. Since there is no moral law, there is no good. Since there is no good, there is no evil. Then what's your question? See, the moment we take God out of the equation, everything becomes nothing. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. God, did you see what they did yesterday? They had five margaritas. So like, when are you coming back, God? Because I need you now. It's getting way too ghetto down here. God, did you mean that to, for that to happen? If so, okay, I see you. <laughs> With niggas, I mean nigga people. Oh Lord. I am living for the Lord. Six I am weeks. living for the Lord. I am living for the Lord. Little. Hallelujah. I feel him down in my spirit. You know, as I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. If you can't say amen, say ouch. Well then, ouch. Shoot, you want to come to me, come to me direct. Don't come to the cutters. Yo, what up, man? I just heard about you and Ashley, bro. I just want to say I'm so sorry, man. I know breakups are always hard. Um, let's link up sometime, grab some food, chop it up. I just wanted to reach out and say if you ever need anything, if you want to just talk about anything, I'm just a phone call away. Rooting for you, bro. Praying for you. Hope you will. He only died on Friday, <laughs> so he could be raised on Sunday. Hey, 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 my brother, I heard the news about you and your partner separating, and I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that this is not a breakup, <laughs> but this is a breakthrough. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody shout hallelujah. My line is always open. I am interceding on your behalf. <laughs> you will get through this, my brother. We are standing in the gap with you and say you will rise again. If you watch any video today, let it be this one. This is so fire. So I once heard this analogy and it said, have you ever been to a restaurant and you were going and you were hungry, you were finna feast. You want a steak, you want you some potatoes. And next thing you know, the waiter brings out you a big thing of rolls. They bring up that big portion of rolls, bring out your drink and you just start stuffing your face. You start going fit. And you eat so much bread and you drink so much of your drink to where by the time they bring out your entree, you're already full. You're like, daggum, I don't even want this hunter anymore. It don't even look appetizing. I'm going to throw up. If we are not waking up every single morning and getting in our daily bread, 
and drinking from the living water, the living source, spending that time with the Holy Spirit, getting in our word, you are going to crave the things of this world. But whenever we are filled, just like that bread, like that appetizer, you are filled. As the enemy brings up these delicious looking things to you and these temptations, you are not going to cave in because you don't want it because you are so full. But with the Holy Spirit, by the Lord's word, to where it doesn't even look appealing. You feel as if, if you if you would cave into that sin, you would throw up. She a baddie, she raising her hands. She praising the Lord. We repping the city, but we still praising God in the country. Satan move real funny. He looking real bummy. He want my soul, but it's already taken. Jesus, my Lord, I'm not fooling with snakes. I'm getting this paper, I'm getting this money. If you not spear lead, we can't have fun. Stumping on demons, I caught me a bunny. Looking at sin, had me sick to my stomach. Keep it a honor, I'm a valuable woman. Jesus, the driver, so we not crashing. Coming together, so we not bashing. Yeah, we not bashing. Drinking the juice, had me feeling real loopy. Ducking the sea, you can call me Lil Goosey. Used to be bad, they call me Lil Boosie. We in the six, but shout out to Bong. My city, they lost, he chose me to guide them. Gave them the mouth like Dora, no swipe. If he hood and godly, yeah, I might date them. Acting for people, y'all chanting like Tay. Yeah, this the remix. Why all my women and men are gutted? They still like to get wretched for the Lord. Let go. Right, Sherilyn? Sherilyn? Tonight, before you go to sleep, let me pray for you, and when we finish here, send it to someone you love. Be a blesser. Heavenly Father, I want to lift up my brother and sister who are watching me here on the other side of this screen, Father, anyone over the sound of my voice right now. Father, just as it says in Psalm chapter 3, verse 3, You, Lord, are my shield. You are my glory. You make me walk with my head held high. Lord, you are our strength. We know that life can often present difficult moments. We can face situations that seem insurmountable, Lord. God, we know that many face different problems, but we are all equally important to you, Lord. Father, I ask that you give health to those who need it, comfort to those who are suffering, and protection to those who are in financial need. Father, grant wisdom to those facing difficult decisions. Help those struggling with anxiety, depression, and racing thoughts. Father, we commit everything into your hands, knowing that you have not lost control of our lives, but have all dominion. We celebrate the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you can, write in the comments, I trust in Jesus, and also send it to someone you love. God bless you. In Psalms 139, it talks about God thinking of us more than every single grain of sand in the world. And when we think about every single grain of sand in the world, there's millions and millions and trillions. And that God thinks of us more than that. And so when God loves us so much and He thinks of us in so many ways, you know, more than every single grain of sand in the world, why do we still feed into the lies and the tricks of the enemy? On one side, you know, God's saying you are loved, you are, you know, you're my beloved, you know, you have a purpose. But yet the devil says, oh, you're worthless. And yet you still listen to the devil. So I'm here to remind you, you know, that you are loved. You are here for a reason. You have a purpose. You know, you are made beautifully in the image of God. And you are the light of the world. Tell yourself that every day you wake up. Amen. So my dear friend on the other side of the screen, please, you know, don't feed into the lies of the enemy. You have a purpose. God loves you. And he's going to do wonders in your life. God bless. I love you. God loves you more. Your daily reminder that the devil he is a big fat liar okay he's jealous of you he only comes to kill still in the story okay he ain't got no daddy he's fried and he's ugly so rebuke him and call him the name of the lord because he came to give us life and give it abundantly so rest in the lord prince of peace period. <laughs>